Hello everybody and welcome to another video by TechSmurf. Uh, today we're going to show you about Microsoft Virtual PC. What it's going to allow you to do is, alright, you got that program you're not sure about, might have some viruses, you don't know, but you want to test it, alright? So you're going to open this up and it's going to allow you to use it and it will not crash your system. It might crash the virtual PC if it's that bad of a virus, which it probably isn't. But, uh, and it's not even for that, but you can even use it for regular stuff, just going on Microsoft Word or whatever. But it's uh, pretty much a PC inside your PC. Uh, um, first, what you're going to want to do is go to Google. I'll have all the links in the description, as usual. And you're going to want to search Microsoft Virtual PC. space for it, it's not really that much. Uh, depends on what you want, 32-bit or 64-bit, and you're going to want to click download for either one of those. I've already got it, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, go ahead and click it, download it, and I'll just minimize it. I don't think we're going to need it anymore. But after you download it, uh, you're going to come up with a little icon like this. Okay. Go ahead and click that. First thing you're, you're going to want to do, you're only going to have this virtual PC, virtual machine not running. So you're going to want to click new and bring that to the center for you. Next, create a virtual machine and name whatever you want. We'll call it virtual machine one. Now, before you do any of this, will need your Microsoft XP uh, installation disk. It should have come with your computer. If not, uh, I'm not sure where to get one, but you're definitely going to need that operating system. Or if you have Vista, same thing, Vista installation. Uh, whatever disk you have, if you have a Mac disk or a Windows XP, Windows Vista, uh, I'm using Windows XP, so I'm going to click that. If you have Vista, click that. Click Vista. Next. Uh, it really depends on what you're going to put on it with the RAM. Uh, this is how much uh, memory you're going to give this virtual PC. I wouldn't give it like, you know, way up here. That's a lot. See, a little message comes up. But, you know, maybe 250 if you're putting a lot on there. I'm just going to use the recommended RAM because I'm not putting that much on it. And you probably don't have virtual hard disk. Uh, I know I did when I set it up, so new virtual hard disk. Just leave that where it is, unless you want to change it. I don't know. I'm not going to do that. And finish. It's going to create it right there. Before you put in your installation disk from Microsoft XP, or, yeah, Windows XP, click Settings on it. We're just going to change a couple of things. You can go in and change anything else you want. First thing, CD, G DVD drive. You're going to want this to be a primary controller. Uh, the secondary controller, uh, the it's probably gonna be looking for like a USB like connector for uh, external CD or DVD drive. So um, if you have that, you know, keep it, whatever. I don't care. Then you're gonna want to do down here. Where is it? Oh yeah, that worked. Okay, now I've got Ethernet, which is the cable that you plug into your computer, and I have wireless. So you don't have to have two, but I'm gonna have that. So then I'll have it'll go off wireless or Ethernet. Because if you don't have plugged in, obviously it's not gonna work. And you can go through the rest of this, display, whatever, change it up, meet your uh, requirements. So you got this, then you're gonna press start. This is when this uh, Windows disk is gonna come in. Okay, this is gonna come up. Straight to the middle here for you. Okay, 
This is when you're going to want to put in your disc. Alright, now I'm going to be pausing the video a lot up here because this is this thing takes a while to download, but uh, you know it's going to have the same thing on you. So, and okay, so use physical drive. That's my uh, CD CD-ROM drive. Go ahead and click that. Okay, now while this is booting up, I'm gonna give you a couple announcements. Uh, this is gonna take a while. It's probably gonna take you about a half hour before everything's done. So allow yourself some time. Uh, you can run other programs while you're doing this. So you know, don't stress out. Be like, why is it taking so long? Your video's only you know ten minutes long. Whatever. Uh, I am pausing it in between. So, and another announcement, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, send me a friend invite, and I might accept it, I don't know, I don't want to accept it, you know, you know, VR, I'm just kidding, uh, and, uh, send me a message, you know, send me a friend invite, it doesn't matter, okay, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my videos, and I'm working on a website right now, and uh, I'll try to get that up and running for you guys. Okay, now since this thing's taking so long to load, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what the virtual machine is gonna look like and show you a couple perks of it and all that. Uh, from here on, it's not that hard, you just follow the setup, it's very uh, user compatible. Microsoft made it a uh, pretty good program. So, I'm just gonna 